Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. But you've missed a lot. You need to catch up, okay? <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always clicking on my videos. And thank you guys for watching this video as well. So, in today's video, we have a special guest. A once in a year. <laughs> once a year guest on our channel and this is my husband if you don't already know and his name is charles so miss introduce yourself mr charles okay so my name is charles once in a while special guest <laughs> and um her husband yes okay so yesterday i asked you guys to ask him questions about life relationships and family and finance and I got quite a lot of questions from Instagram and YouTube. So we're going to be asking him those questions today. And I'm looking forward to hearing his answers because we got some very, very interesting questions. You guys are the best when it comes to asking really serious questions, okay? So yeah, I'd like to learn some of his answers for these questions and hopefully he gets to answer your questions as well, okay? So if you would like to see it, then just keep on watching. So before we continue, I'd like to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Transfago. Yay! <laughs> yes, Transfago is an online payment services platform where you can send money from the UK or from Europe down to Nigeria and other countries, okay? It is very, very easy to use. When they say something is hassle-free, it is completely hassle-free. It takes less than a minute for you to send money from the UK or from Europe down to Nigeria, okay? Like, I mean, it doesn't get better than that, okay? You can send money at night, during the day, in your car, on the roads, from your laptop, from your phones, Wherever you are, you can easily send money. If it's an emergency, like I said, it takes less than one minute for you to send the money. So you can quickly send money down to Nigeria. And the fees are very low compared to when you go to the bank to go and send money. You know, the fees are much lower than bank rates. And yeah, like I said, it is very easy to use and it is also very, very safe. So just, be, just rest assured that your money is secured. And also... If you use my um, referral code, I have a referral code, guys, okay? Yes. So if you use my referral code, you're going to get £10 back, okay? Yes, if you do a transaction of over £50, you are going to get ten £10 is not small bin, so if you calculate it in Naira, that's over 5K, okay? Yes, so you're going to get £10 back if you do a transaction of over 50 pounds okay yeah so you guys it's very easy to use like i said just follow my links and set your um, account up you can download their app set your account up and you're good to go okay so no more excuses those of you that will say ah i wanted to transfer but you know now is is at night no it's day or night you can transfer the money okay yeah so um, I'm really excited about this and I really want you guys to benefit from this. Right now, it's only accessible to those in the UK and Europe, but they are expanding to add more countries to their platform. So once it is ready, those of you in the US and Canada, I'm going to let you guys know, okay? I'll keep you guys posted so that you don't miss out on this wonderful opportunity, okay? And let's just jump right into this video. All right, guys. So I'm going to be starting from the questions I got on my Insta stories, okay? And the first one is from Tenny Bello and she's asking, how do you feel about your wife being on YouTube as some men have issues with it? How do you feel about your wife being on YouTube? Okay, um, so initially, that was um, <laughs> a no-no. I mean, I, it's not something I, I like at all. I like my quiet life and um, I prefer it that way and of course she knows but um, after a series of try and error and try this and try that that she has done and finding something that I mean she had a sustained passion for because she always have passion <laughs> and it dies away so I had to just um, it's like give and take so you have to just um, sacrifice uh, yeah sacrifice for that and let it be I'm, I've told you guys before that I've tried like a million and one things in this life. Like I can wake up this morning and say, you know what? I want to be an astronaut and I'll pursue it. It's not like I won't even pursue it. I'll pursue it. When I get to a particular stage, I'll just be like, nah, that's not for me. <laughs> Let me look for another thing to do. So it, um, being on YouTube is something that I have done for a while now and he has seen the passion and yeah. Anyway, 
Someone said I like translating for you. <laughs> I like explaining better. So yeah. Lucy Fra wants one to one and she's asking how did he find you on Facebook? And how did he know you were the one? Was it love at first sight? How did I find you on Facebook? I think you've said that story. Yeah, before. I've told the story. So I think that's that's just basically it. Mm -hmm. Um if you like to know the story, go and watch our video of how I met my husband. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so was it love at first sight? Well, it's attraction at first sight. Yeah, I don't exactly. think it's love at first sight. So, yeah. it's just an attraction. Mm -hmm. The main part saying congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I want to know this one. I think I know it, but I want to know. <laughs> the next one is from Bini Baby. And she's asking... What's the first thing you love about your wife? What's that first thing that you say? Ah, I love this girl. Okay, so apart from the physical beauty <laughs> that's, you know, attracted me. So the first thing I think it's, um, yeah, actually the first thing is the matured conversation. So we didn't see, I mean, we didn't see for a while. So we we're just having phone conversation up and down. And we talked on a lot. In fact, yeah, we argued lots. a lot. <laughs> yeah. I say argue. Yeah, so we argued a lot. Yeah. And no, I won't call it so, argue, but we were like establishing this is what I believe, this is what I believe, this is what I know, this is what I know a lot at the beginning. Yeah. And so it's um so she's not like uh, she will not just throw out your own point of view. Uh, in fact, she will always say, Yeah, I, I, understand, I understand you, you. <laughs> but but I understand you, but but and so, but uh, anyway, that's that's it. So I mean, she we had a lot of conversation, and um, from those conversations, it's the way she she was. I mean, the point she was bringing and her own point of view. That's what basically I said, man. So she looked um, older than no, older oh, than her age. <laughs> I looked older, or I behave okay, older. Behave older than your age. Ah, I don't look older. Okay, I do look older. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, someone is asking what they think about my body after two kids. I don't even want to know. Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> that is a normal thing now. Yeah, exactly, like, it's not... Do you know, one thing people don't understand is that we see ourselves very often, so the changes are kind of, like, normal. I don't know how to explain it. So, but the point is, I mean, even it's... People always ask on the other... Maybe they'll ask the, the guy or uh, it's always to the girl. It's mm -hmm. both ways. I mean, yeah. the guy can grow pot belly like mm -hmm. it's coming now. Exactly. And, um, and white hair. <laughs> yeah, white hair as is there. Mm -hmm. called for. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but. Yeah. Now, the next question is from Chantel Anyawu. Hi, girl. And she's asking. Actually, why I want to address this how is that I've. I got we got several of these questions on even on YouTube and she's saying please can you address the male gang advisors she's not asking a question she's saying that you should please address them those people that are advising me go and get a male child you know I'm a Nigerian man I'm a Igbo man a male child this one down one this one down what do you have to say <laughs> <laughs> mm, very interesting I mm -hmm. think it's um it's a problem of the society yeah so and it's so i don't think i should um attack them i mean everybody have their preferences so for me it is what you want right so personally for me does it really matter yeah so at the end of the day all your children they would definitely leave you and to a reasonable extent if you continue to drag them close, you become a burden, whether it's a male or a female child, they will all go away, right? Um, these days, who cares about... Uh, so, the argument people have, I've basically looked at it, it doesn't really apply anymore. Mm -hmm. So, what is the difference? Apart from, maybe you just want to have, you know, the two... The two genders. The genders, yeah. and, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, what you really need is a good child. Mm -hmm. Whether male or female, it is a good child. You need, I mean, a child that you'll be proud of. Not, yeah. I mean, you can have a male child and <laughs> you have a lot of headache mm -hmm. and you probably go to your early grave. So, mm -hmm. and you could also have a female child, the same thing. So, whatever you have, 
It's not your own making. It's just pray for a good child. And that mm -hmm. is, for me, that's a priority. Yep. From Rich Kenne, and she's asking, how do you balance between investment and luxury spending? Holidays, new cars, jollification. <laughs> how do I balance? Mm. <laughs> so I think it's a... That one's a course on its own. <laughs> so it's a timeline, right? Mm. So the timeline of life. I think when you start, for me, that's my own personal opinion, when you start in life, I put luxury to the backbone. I mean, mm -hmm. they are more important things. So I want to plan for the future. I want to um, invest, right? I want to get the needs. Met. Yeah. So then um, as you begin to, I mean, as those investments begin to mature and all that, I like to spend my profit, not mm -hmm. my had any income. income yeah. So as those investments begin to mature, I then start doing the lozenges, okay. Um we get that car, mm. travel and what sort of yeah. but it that's why I say the timeline. It takes some time for those investments to mature. Um so you need to discipline yourself. So initially you just stay in, those yeah, in your box and cut off all those luxuries mm -hmm. and after a while. Mm -hmm. My man is confessing that if you tell him, ah, what if the world ends, Abi? You don't know, you don't know tomorrow. If you die tomorrow, you say, hey, you die, you die now. Like if you die, sure if you are going to heaven, is there anything that that you miss out on earth that you say, hey, if I didn't like maybe you're in heaven now, you now look back and say, hey, if I had known now, that spent all my millions on this. Like there's really nothing. Okay, this other question is from Kiki or Kike and she's asking do you prefer living in Port Harcourt or other states? Ah, Port Harcourt, no, 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 it's not a place. Neither is it Lagos. <laughs> no, 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 Lagos, no Port Harcourt, no Abuja, no Pansy, not even New York, blah, blah, mm. blah. I just need a very quiet place, you know, so quiet, and normal, not busy, where nobody will notice me. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. go and do my work, come back, have a peaceful life, quiet life, but with good amenities anyway. Yeah. So good road, good school, uh, good school, good facilities, good yeah. houses and all that. Yeah. But very quiet place. How did you know Adese was the right one? This one is from Abu Mugu. How did you know Adese was the right one? She says congratulations again on your pregnancy. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> how did I know? So I don't think there's one thing that would <laughs> make you just or make me just know. No, there is yeah. a combination of a lot of things. So, which starts by physical attraction, then um, when you start having conversations, is it some? What well, I mean, in our own case, she was someone that could um, have those matured conversation and have a you know a good plan for herself. Right, and those plans are. I said we could marry them, right? It's not contradictory, yeah. So, yeah. Have and so, them. some of them, I mean, actually, some of them we are because she was, I mean, she wants a, a show life, <laughs> where I want a very quiet life. But I don't want a show life, no, <laughs> no at all. Anybody that knows me knows I don't want a show life, Anyways, but I, his own idea of show life uh, is just the basic things. Doing birthday party for your child, huh? sorry, for your child, uh -huh. to him, doing show birthday life. party with uh, 50 people. Is a show, 50, that is crowd. 50 is including the children, no? yeah, it's a show, crowd. like to him, so that's, 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 that's too much, so. Anyway, so, I mean, <laughs> um, so, but outside that, another thing, it's, um, I mean, she was a Christian, so she had faith in God, and also she has a very good heart. <laughs> Have I told you before? <laughs> No, but uh, yes, uh, what I mean, um, <laughs> very good heart. Um, actually, I can be very annoying. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank, thank you for admitting to yourself. <laughs> so, um, so, but uh, she's someone that is quick to go over it, and she would even be the one that will come and uh, start having those conversations. And yeah. It's, in fact, I think that is basically her greatest virtue for me because it's sometimes it amazes me how she's able how to do that. How quickly I get to watch this, yeah. I just look, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I noticed it sometimes maybe we have one argument or quarrel or something. He did one, it's not joke or like serious argument. Like five minutes later, I'm just like, you know what? It's not even worth it. Let me just go and meet him. Let's talk. And he will still be, you know, when somebody is still, the person has not yet recovered from the argument. Me, I'm like, we better recover because we need to move forward. Like, I can't stay with somebody, especially someone I live with and someone that I'm married to. I can't stay and now be keeping malice or be angry or whatever. Yeah, so I forgive easily when it comes to that one. Any tips on raising the girl child? I've got I got this one several times. From Christabel, she said, any tips on raising the girl child? You've not raised both, yeah, so... So, I think <laughs> this question is too early to ask, but mm -hmm. generally, I don't think there's um, so much difference in the basics of raising with a girl or a boy child. I think the basics are the same, right? Um, but for the girl child, she has more emotions attached to her. So you begin to notice that very early in their lives. And so if you really want to um, prevent them from all the vultures out there <laughs> yeah. that would try to prey on those um, vulnerabilities and their emotions, you would need to fill in that gap. Yeah. So you need to spend more time with them, you need to, you know, pay more, um, attention, to pay more attention to all the little details, how they behave, um, what they say. Um, so for the girl child, I think you need to really, really pay attention to them. And that increases um, as, as they, they grow, grow older, you know, right? because they will try to keep a lot of things to themselves. But mm -hmm. if, you, if you've started off very well, at least the bigger ones they will be able to you know open up to you especially for the guy right mm. typically children are always That's what um, does. yeah uh, children are always uh, easily uh, open to their mothers so for the mm. father you have to do 10 times more yeah okay i've gotten i also got this question a lot too it's from db hami and she's asking in the nearest future would you love to move your family abroad or are you fine living in nigeria <sighs> i'm very very comfortable living he's in nigeria. too comfortable living in nigeria um, like you can't tell him nothing <laughs> you, can't, you can't say nothing <laughs> so um nigeria is not i mean there are too many challenges there are a lot of um evil and things are not working mm. but i believe that that is where you even have the opportunity to make it yeah that is my belief um, you may not change Nigeria, but because there are a lot of problems, and if you can provide little solutions, you would basically. Yeah, um, you can blow from providing yeah. simple solutions in Nigeria. Then, two, I actually, I mean, I've traveled, traveled a lot, and I, I don't think I can ever be comfortable, or I've ever been comfortable yeah, outside, outside Nigeria. Nigeria so. Can. Um, I'm not going to force it, neither am I going to go by the bandwagon gun and just um, move. Uh, people that move, I mean, some are having it very, very nice, better than what they have in Nigeria. A good number of them. But for me, I think I'm okay in Nigeria, so why move? Okay, <laughs> so this one is from Shorty, and she's asking, what was the first thing that came to your mind when Adizi told you that she's pregnant? When I called you and told you. <laughs> okay, so um, I think she, you've joked about it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, I was even happened? planning to prank him with it. <laughs> yeah, what will happen now if I just get pregnant? What will happen now if I. So, um, so initially, I mean, the first time she said it, I thought that, okay, that's the same thing. Mm -hmm. But of course, you would know, um, especially when you've been with someone, when the person is now serious. I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, when she repeated it, I knew she was serious. Mm -hmm. And so, typical me, I, um, I already knew from the tone of her voice that she was, I say sad, not, um, not really depressed, but sad, right? And when she's sad... <laughs> He, he now entered the <laughs> consolation mode. I said, talking. So, I was like, what's not this long story? Your guy are talking. This one. <laughs> so, but um, I don't think I have a lot of things that shock me in life, really. Um, so maybe the young me would, um, like Eva's case, would not be so 
no, 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 it's not according to my plan. I need mm. plan for this, this, that, that. But I think life has um, given me gray hair, so I yeah. now know <laughs> that. You have to quickly adjust. I mean, yeah. a lot of things can happen, so and, just and, move on. And to be honest, eh, your reaction helps me too. By the time I even called, cause I called him first. I called my sister, then I called Nelu. By the time I was talking to Nelu, she was like, ah, ah, you don't even sound angry. I even laughed. I was like, my mind, I was like, you don't know what we've just gone through this morning, you know. His reaction made me feel like, you know what, we are fine, I beg. What's all this freaking out for? Like, calm down, Jerry. It's just a baby. <laughs> but my first reaction was, he, Jesu. Anyway, so, okay. What's the hardest thing about being a husband and a father? Hmm. Um, so... I think uh, hmm, about being a father and a husband. I think the hardest thing really is to set the right precedence. It's not really to provide because I mean, I mean yeah, there, are lot of, <laughs> there are a lot of people that do provide for their family and things mm -hmm. still get very bad. I mean, the home, the children turn out Terrible. not okay. The house, I mean, turns upside down, they get divorced and all that. Yeah. So I think it's setting the right precedent, making the right decision. Um, because a lot lies with you. Um, I mean, you're like the last bus stop. So mm -hmm. it's setting those right precedents and keeping everything intact, the way and manner in which you would be proud of. Okay, what cha when challenges come as regards marriage, what keeps you going and never wanting to give up? This one is from... Tife Franca. Okay, so um, what keeps you going? For me, it is the it's at the end. That's what keeps me going. So yeah. what what do you dream about your home? What do you want um, your home to be like? Um, so what is your your vision for your for your home? And so different challenges will come. Mm -hmm. In fact, people say, oh. Marriages are, um, are sweet and this. <laughs> it is sometimes very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And so it will come either from relations or it can come from... But I think the biggest challenge would be from both of you. Yeah. yeah so you have a lot of disagreements, yeah. right? And a lot of things that would not work. Mm -hmm. um, or ideologies that will not work and things will change along the line and mm -hmm. you will not like it so but what is the end game are those things very the very important, important so yeah. it's i mean when you look at it whatever the disagreement is oh she's no longer doing this or he's no longer doing this or he he's I now mean, doing this he's so, now yeah. doing this or, mm -hmm. so those things are they um, going to change the course of or change the vision, basically. Mm -hmm. The way you want your home to be. How you project your home to be. Not what you like, right? Mm -hmm. um, what, are, what, what are the important things that would make this thing work? So if they are not, again, yeah. it's one of those give and takes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if they are, then you have to sit down and have a very, very heart-to-heart. -heart Serious conversation. Yes. Okay. So the next one is from Cindy Bokwe. And she's asking, what percentage of an income do you advise should be saved or invested on a monthly basis? Do you really want to know that answer? Well, <laughs> the person you're asking. Advice. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, this is advice. That, that's just general. Mm. I think you'd, irrespective of what you make, I don't think you should go below 20% to invest. Mm. That's the minimum. Um... And again, as your finances keep increasing, you need to increase those percentages. Yeah. So, especially when you are young, when you are young, you should be increasing percentages. If you are older, uh, you know you. So start. I mean, if you if you even though you are older, the truth is this: if you've invested wisely when you are younger, again, the money. That's why I said. So you have more more money, you mm. know, to play around to that. You basically have more money when you go older. And when the family comes and things are increasing, you would... Um, again, for me, the minimum will still be 20%. Mm. And for me, well, personally, 20% mm. is even really, really small. Yeah. Uh, that's why I say you're asking the wrong person. So, His own is the other way around. You spend 20% and, and, and save 80%. No, no, no. But I mean, I invest... But you used to be I like invest uh, currently at least... 
45 percent in non investment okay yeah and keep another 15 or there about for possible yeah. other investments other investment, yeah. okay what's the character trait you miss the most about your wife when you are away at work i like this question <laughs> so um okay i've talked about the fact that you forgive a lot but i think the what um well what i miss the most would be so for me i'm very very introverted Mm. So on that scale, I should be like, um, if if ten being the highest, I'll be like um, eight and a half, mm. probably or nine. <laughs> or nine and a half. So I like my space. That's just mm. it. I like my space, and I th that's not too good for a, a home. Yeah. And for um, for the marriage, basically for the couples, for the kids, I don't think I. I do that so much. But yeah, yeah, for the kids, you don't. I don't think you could respect space mm, nah, for nah, children. Nah, I respect my space, mm. but for for her, I still do uh, my space. I mean, mm. I mean, so but she's um, she would always come and you know pop up some conversations and would start talking, and sometimes we just come and sit and we'll say nothing, nothing just yeah. you know do our things together. So I think that's that, and I think that's companionship. So that's uh, it's that's basically absent when I'm not around. So mm -hmm. if I'm not around, um, I'm just alone. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Sorry. Me too. When I'm not around, I'm just no. I'm not I'm not just alone. <laughs> the children are always here. Should I ask this one? What's your wife's? The person has asked. The person asked, "What's your wife's best and worst quality?" We've asked that best several times. So what's the worst quality? Hmm. Hmm. Me, I want to hear this one. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I can put them in order. They say, what's the worst? They say, uh, so I can't, the annoying politics. They know. say, the worst. I don't, I can't say... Um, the one that is the worst. The one that is the worst, actually. They are, and I think it goes with every human being. Mm. There are things that you really don't like. So, um, I think... Initially, I would have answered the way she keeps things. I mean, to me, that's what I meant to she's answer. very, very disorganized. To me, she, she's feeling, she's very <laughs> organized. To me, she's... See, let me I tell mean, you. So annoying. Let me tell you. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm organized. Just that I am not organized 247, mm. okay? But when I want to be organized, it's ruler and pencil kind of organization. Now, imagine me like that. Now having someone that is... 100 times worse than you. Let me put it. No, no, I think, okay, let me put it this way. Your own is that you are consistently organized. You might not be so perfect, as in you're not the OCD kind of organized. You're you are just, your things are neatly kept. His things are always neatly kept. When he comes back from work, he will keep his shoes the right place, remove his clothes, keep the right place. You know, he likes doing laundry a lot. You know, everything's always kept in the right place. Everything, bag, right place. Me, my own is that I can keep my shoe here. Keep my bag here, keep my clothes here. When I now want to organize, I will now come and hang bag like this, hang shoes. As in, yeah. I spend so much time putting things in order that if I can't, if I don't have the time to arrange the way I want, I'll rather scatter it. Now, so the problem and is actually <laughs> that the frequency of organizing is so far apart. Yeah. So I put to me, at the end things. of the day, it's like, oh, the person is not organized. But why I don't feel bad is that. Compared to many people, I'm still I'm I'm even too much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know many people. <laughs> okay, and the person also asked, if you won one million dollar lottery today, what would you do with it? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's no brainer now. I invest it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, calculate the entire profit. I'm project, <laughs> project it. Then, then I'll ten... now start thinking of what I'll do with the profit. Yeah, at the end of 10 years. <laughs> yeah, it might not be 10 years. I mean, in fact, I can start looking at what I'll do because this is like a gift. Mm. So I already have my, what I call backbone. So this is like an addition to the yeah. backbone. So I can basically enjoy my profit very well. Very well, well yeah. Then who is the laziest between two of us? It's me, like hands down. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is very hard working you know? I've, told you, okay, I've told you several times my mom is very hard working like, he's the kind of person that cannot rest until he has done all he has to do 
he can rest until I've done it. Me, I can rest. I can rest on top of the heap of clothes yeah, like this. If I'm, yeah, if I'm not in the mood, quit self before you finish. Thank you. If I you quit <laughs> several days, you start and end and start and end and start and end. And <laughs> so if you lazy, then so I'm number one. Don't worry, I'm not even. I'm not even disputing that fact. Uh -huh. Somebody asked. I can't find the question now because like, this video is already getting too long. Someone asked like, how did you cope in the first four years before we had Cora? Ah, balling now. The kind of now. I was balling. Actually, he was balling. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I think, um, how did I cope? So the biggest problem I had was her, right? Um, mm -hmm. So for me, it was like, uh, you know, still boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, enjoy, but each time. I wasn't saying it. Every like that. month, <laughs> it was a terror. You have to. <laughs> and talk and preach and do so for me how um personally for me you know i was pulling for her on the other hand i mean because of her i was i was um, you were forced yeah to, yeah I was, I was having a hard time basically yeah. i didn't have any challenge with um, anybody asking me Maybe because of how I am, so nobody would just nobody come and try <laughs> ask me, oh, this is, uh, what is happening, or this, <laughs> your wife, that. Nope. Everybody, yeah. I I give everybody space, and I uh, mm -hmm. respect their space and yeah. their life, basically. So also they respect mine. Mm -hmm. So nobody was intruding to ask uh, anything. asking anything. I think they were even asking her more, mm -hmm. and each time they ask her, she would carry all the whole <laughs> sadness and crying and everything back to me. So, but yeah, I coped very well, but because of her, I had to do a lot of um, counseling, <laughs> yeah, consolation, yeah. and all that. Yeah, and after he consoles me and counsels me, I now feel great, I yes, feel strong month. until the next, the next month. The next month, when I lost my period, like this, like, oh my god, my life is over, I don't have children. <laughs> yeah, but it's not easy, it's not easy for a woman, I beg. I, well, it's not easy for anybody who doesn't want to make it easy for themselves let me put it that yeah, way so that's yeah. the point if you so it depends yourself, on if you what yeah them. it depends on what life life itself is not about children yeah neither, i mean neither is life even about marriage really mm. so if you get married uh, first of all there should be a purpose why you are even getting married right mm -hmm. and you should be ready for marriage and so what comes with marriage must not be children so i yeah. think that that mentality should always not be there um, for the couples, I mean, the world can say whatever they want to say, but for the couples, it shouldn't be something that should now become a problem. Yeah. Look, children are very, very wonderful to have, right? So, yeah. it's, I mean, giving that kind of advice, giving this particular advice to someone that is really, 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 really expecting, it's not going to be yeah. So, yes, but, I mean, you, you pray generally. So, you pray, mm -hmm. and so if you really, really believe, just mm -hmm. do everything. And that's what I do. I mean, if you've prayed about something, yeah. I, why allow it bother you? Yeah. It's why? true. And he's the kind of person that he believes that sometimes over praying about something shows that you don't believe or that you're afraid. It's something that you told me one time. So um so there's a so you might have a conviction that um this thing is supposed to happen this time, right? So you begin to pray. I mean, you have to have a strong conviction that it has to happen this time. So you can pray continuously mm -hmm. to make it happen, right? There are a lot of examples like that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a conviction, you know that it's going to happen. I mean, God has promised you that it's going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. But when it's going to happen, that's for God. So you've prayed about it. Well, why bother? Yeah. Okay, this one's from Nelo. She's saying, um, <laughs> how does he stay so disciplined? Can he do a master class for two of us? Discipline with what? Finances now. Generally, you are not even the finances. I think you are a disciplined person. How do you stay disciplined? And maybe we need to call two of us together and do <laughs> master class. <laughs> but you know the funny thing? No matter how many it's master not, classes you yeah, do for, I don't think we will we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, change. It is, I think the first thing is to be disciplined, yeah? Irrespective of... And, and that is... It goes with everything in life anyway. It's not about us for finances. Yeah. Think everything when you are when you are in school and you want to do well, you have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. It's everything, so you need to have that discipline. A lot of things mm -hmm. are enticing, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when you have the money. Yeah. So um, for me, I just think uh, personally, 
what do you need? That's the first point. What do you need? So you need a home, you need um, mobility, you need um, comfort, I mean, food, comfort, yeah. all those things. So get those ones. Um, and every other thing must come for me must come from um, not from my own direct sweat yeah. from an indirect sweat which means from my investment yeah that's what i believe because mm -hmm. it, i mean my general uh, concept is that i know obviously i'm going to stop working someday when mm -hmm. i don't know right the way the world is things can <laughs> happen at any time mm -hmm. right someone was talking about teachers and everything Nobody ever expected that these kind of things would happen and some families, both, 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 both couples are <laughs> private, are, school teachers. Yeah, private school teachers and there's nothing coming in anymore. So I try to see that I run the home from my investment. Yeah. And so that was the goal, really, to get to that point where the home will be run from the investment. And I know that, okay... When I get to that point, I will not project, okay, I mean, things will increase, right? So you put all that in, factor all that in. Inflation and, um, and everything, yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, they'll go to school, they'll go to from yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. primary to secondary, and things will be increasing generally. Mm, yeah. So um, I factor all that in and still, and that's why I keep the investment going. I increase the investment. I just, just put one and relax. Every month I keep trying to increase it. But the goal is run the home from the investment so that when you don't have um, the income coming in anymore, yeah, your investment, you'll still be going. I think at least you won't be, crash, even if you're not yes. living in a fantastic, you still live normal, you still live, normal, you still live yeah. the way you are living, yeah. Right? And that's another thing try and live a normal life so that if anything happens, you will not crash, yeah, yeah. Life is actually not a competition. Yeah, it's not at, 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 at all. It's not. Okay, I think that's the questions we can take now. The questions are so many. I don't want this video to be too long. It's already too long, Seth. But anyway, thank you for coming on my channel. Um, so I tried now. <laughs> yes, you tried. Finally, if you guys know how I begged this man, beg. I've been begging since last year. Since the last video to today, I've been begging. <laughs> very important person, man. Yeah. You are supposed to actually be paying. Uh, I will be paying. Wait, pay wait, me. wait. Uh, let me see how much YouTube will pay me for this video. We'll share the money. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope we were able to answer your questions very well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Any other questions that um, I can answer myself, I'll answer it in subsequent videos. And if you watch my videos, some of these questions, you would have seen answers to them already, okay? So anyway, yes, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you all in, our, in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Let's say our next video. Don't ever come in again. Ever. <laughs> Till next year.